What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're gonna to be looking at errors involved with a custom column and how to identify what the Power Query editor is telling us about those errors that occurred and how can we fix it. So let's go ahead and start in the Power Query editor to take a look at our data and create a custom column and see what error occurs. So here we are inside the Power Query Editor and you can see that I have some basic data here. Column 1 contains text values of A, B, C and column 2 is numeric values of 1, 2 and 3. And so what I want to do here is I want to combine them together using what's known as an ampersand. And so to do that I'm going to create a custom column. So I'm going to go up here to the top to the Add Column tab and I'm going to choose a custom column. So for my custom column, I'm simply going to choose column one here. So that's gonna be the first, and I'm gonna select the insert option down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna select column one and insert. Now the ampersand is a way to combine data together. It's also known as a concatenation, and this is the symbol here. So if you hit shift and seven, it's gonna give you this ampersand. So it's a way to combine data together and as we select column two for the second piece here, we're going to insert that in. What you're gonna notice is that as this goes to combine the data together, we're going to receive an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And as we talked about in the last video, if you select the cell where the error is located here, so the cell, not the hyperlink, you can see a preview of what the error is. And so if I select that and I look at the bottom, it says expression error. We cannot apply operator and to types text and number. So this ampersand here, or the concatenation symbol, allows you to combine data together, but it tells us that we are trying to combine two different data types, a text and a number. So with this, we wanna make sure that the data type is going to be the same and so it also gives us some detail as well so it says the operator is the ampersand here on the left hand side we have the a or the text value and on the right hand side we have the numeric value of one and so as we go to combine this together we need to make sure we have the same data type and so with that there's a couple different ways to get around that. So if I want to combine this together, then I'll have to change one of these column types. And so if I go back to the change type step here and I change this to a text data type. So if I scroll down and I choose that this is going to be a text data type, I'll go ahead and replace the current step here. I now have column one and column two both as a text data type. So data typing is important here. And so with that, now that they're both a text data type, if I go back to my custom column, we're gonna notice that it now combines them together. So it's gonna concatenate or combine A with one to create A1, B and two to create B2, and C and three to create C3. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. It says you attempt to use the Power Query Editor to create a custom column and receive the error message shown in the following exhibit. Use the drop down menu to select the answer choice that completes each statement based on the information presented. So as we look at the error message here, so I'm gonna look at the error message Notice that we get that same expression error that we saw before. It says we cannot apply operator ampersand to types text and number. And so that's telling us that as we're looking at this information, what is occurring? And so we can see that on the left hand side we have the A and the operator is gonna be the ampersand. And on the right hand side we have the numeric value of one. And so we've already seen what that ampersand does. It essentially combines the data together. And so what we're trying to accomplish is to put the A with the one together 
with no spaces involved. And so as we look down here at our answer area, it says the error is caused by what? So error values in the source data, mismatched data types or null value. Well, it tells us here with inside the question that we're applying the operator to text and number. And so this is telling us that we have a mismatch of data types. So the correct answer for this first area is going to be a mismatch of the data types. We have a type text and a type number and they are not compatible together with the ampersand. Then the second part says the desired outcome of the custom column is what? Well, this is where the information with inside the details come into play. On the left hand side, we have an A and on the right hand side, we have the numeric value of one. So as we saw in the previous example, that ampersand does not appear when you combine it together. It is simply going to concatenate or put them together, smash them up next to each other. You can think of this kind of like glue between the two pieces of information. And so unless we specifically state that we want a space, there's not going to be a space and that ampersand value does not get displayed either. So as we looked at the left hand side, it should be an A and on the right hand side, it should be a one. So the correct answer for the second area is going to be A1 where it concatenates the two values together. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.